Mama Africa Mixed Secondary School located in Nanga Village Muranga County is the epitome of holistic transformative education. It is a school that is wholly uh, founded in uh, the holistic uh, point of view where the founder is a Catholic priest uh, who started this school and uh, we have different denomination we have catholics we have uh, protestants we have muslims and uh, all are allowed to exercise their uh, there is a freedom of worship whereby we have different days in which different students in different denomination practice their faith our motto transformative education here you cannot separate you cannot distinguish one student from a street family collected by Father David himself and another student from a rich family transformed until they, they are equal. We prepare our students to be all-round robust go-getters as we focus on nurturing their unique talents. We are calling the students to show what they can do best apart from uh, what they are learning in class, the theory part of it. And then we also invite them to have the practical part of what they are studying in class. The school have provided a good environment for that uh, under different sponsors, under different people of goodwill to help the students to realize their talents. Uh, there are those that uh, are so good in dancing, in singing, in uh, playing uh, some music, in games. I'm in Form 3 and my talent is dancing. In Mama Africa, we've got a talent academy that nature's talents of various students. We've managed to act a set book such as the blossoms of the savannah and we've recorded and there are people viewing also we've managed to have a dancing club and a music club the school is well equipped with learning and boarding facilities including a fully fledged library and well equipped science and computer labs mama africa has all the the facilities and that's why the population, in a very few years, since 2015 when it started, we have grown. This school is actually one of the best schools con considering discipline. Mama Africa, I guarantee you, it's really discipline being a mixed school. There's good relationship between the boys and girls. There's respect between the teachers and how the teachers and students relate. It's a well-recognized school in terms of discipline national-wide. Enjoy free computer classes, safe, reliable transport services, and ample space for sports and Tumsifu Yesu Kristu milele na milele amina. Mpendo mtazamaji wa Kaputin TV popote pale ulipo karibu kwenye matangazo ya moja kwa moja ikiwa leo ni Alhamisi kuu siku ya kwanza ya zile siku tatu kuu katika imani ya Ukristo. Tunaanza leo asubuhi ya leo na ibada uh, ya Krism, misa ya Krisma uh, kama inavyojulikana kwa sababu ni katika misa hiyo ambapo mafuta matakatifu ya krisma ya tatakaswa baada ya kubarikiwa kwa mafuta ya wakati kumeni na mafuta ya mpako wa wagonjwa ni ibada ambayo imefunguliwa kwa waumini kumbuka kwamba miaka miwili mfululizo haijakuwa e, misa ya wazi kutokana na wingu na janga la corona ambalo limeangukia nchi ama nchi nzima na dunia kwa jumla kwa hivyo leo kanisa hili linafurahia kwamba baada ya miaka miwili ya unyamavu na ukiwa baba askofu alifanya misa peke yake na wachache basi leo hii misa iko wazi kwa waumini na hasa watawa na mapadre kwa namna ya pekee basi tunakukaribisha uweze kuandamana nasi ikiwa leo ni siku ya alhamisi kuu tunakumbuka kwenye kanisa ni kwamba 
ibada hiyo ni ile ambayo tunakumbuka kwamba katika misa hii licha ya kwamba kuna kubarikiwa na kutakaswa kwa mafuta ni sherehe ya kumbukumbu ya uh, uh, daraja ya upadri Yesu mwenyewe kama mtakavyosikia pale kwenye misa ya jioni karamu ya mwisho akaanzisha aka, aka sakramenti mbili sakramenti ya uh, daraja takatifu na sakramenti ya ekaristi takatifu pengine kati ya wengi ambao wako hapa tumalike padre mmoja hapa tuelezee katika maisha yake upadre imekuwaje na amefanya kazi vipi karibu padre tuambie majina yako na uh, upadre wako ukoje asante sana naitwa father peter kenjonge mimi ni padre ojimbo katika jimbo letu kuu la nairobi na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya kipaji hiki cha upadri. Sasa huu, huu ni mwaka wangu wa nne katika upadri na nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu hata kama miaka miwili hatuja kuwa kwa sababu ya corona lakini namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu because each day is a priest day. You are ordained to do the work of God na unaendelea tuna kazi ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo mimi nafurahia and I'm very happy to be a priest and hata uh, nikivaa hivi watu wengine wanadhania eh, ma- maana yake hii <laughs> maana uh, kwa sasa mimi nafanya kazi na commission ya liturgy katika kanisa na ndio maana unavaa kasok na unavaa saplis wakati kama huu ambapo sasa una kazi ingine ambayo sasa utakuwa kabisa katika huduma ya misa kwa hivyo sasa utakuwa tu mtumishi lakini hiyo aisemi mtumishi wa tare ama mtumishi hapana wa... mtu <laughs> waliturjia eh hey, waaskofu na mapadri wale wengine kwa hivyo uh, in capacity ama priest but for now in this mass ya chrism mimi nafanya kazi kwa sababu ya liturgy kwa hivyo kumtumikia askofu kumtukia kuwatumikia mapadri watawa na vile vile kwa sasa mimi di in charge wa kwaya yeye ni itaimba leo katika uh, shamra shamra hizi ni kwaya gani ambayo inaimba siku ya leo leo tuko na basilika na st peter crevas wote wameungana yeye wameungana pamoja e, kwa sababu ni siku ya mapadri na vile vile eucharistia uh, takatifu kwa hivyo tumeonelea kwa sababu misa iko hapa basilika tuweze kuwaleta pamoja na ili e, sherehe zetu ziweze za kufana katika mapadri wengi ambao ume, uh, umepitia mikononi mwao ama ule waangalia ukiwa kijana ni yupi ambaye ama yupi ama wawili wa, 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 bao pengine unaweza kuwataja na kuombea baraka wakiwa hai ama wamepumzika kwanza kabisa namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya Father John Kiongo ambaye ni baba yangu ambaye amenilea sana yuko hapa katika misa hii na vile vile fadha mwingine ambaye sitawahi sahau anaitwa Father Colonelius Mashare alikuwa fadha wa Apostle of Jesus yeye alinifanya kunivutia katika upadre kwa sababu ya mziki nasikia anafanya kazi katika nchi ya Tanzania na bado ni mzee na Mungu vile vile uh, aweze kumpa nguvu uh, ya kuelekea na kuele, uh, kue, kuelekeza watu wa Mungu na hasa kuna padre mmoja ambaye sitawahi sahau ambaye aliaga anaitwa Father Vincent Masharia ambaye alinilea vile vile na ku, uh, siku zake za mwisho alikuwa mgojo na nilimtumikia sana lakini Mungu apumzishe kwa amani E. Jambo la mwisho pengine kwa watazamaji ambao pengine e, leo wataenda ibada ya jioni ya kutawadha miguu. Yeah. Kutawadha miguu ni jambo la maana sana na uh, misa hii haikatazi mtu kweda misa ya jioni hata mapadri. Na kwa hivyo wakristo wote tunaungana pale sote ili kwanza kabisa tuweze kuwa na ibada ya misa kwa sababu Ukaristia takatifu tukumbuke Alhamisi ko Yesu ali tuwekea Ukaristia takatifu na ndio maana tutakuwa tukishirekea mapadri pamoja na Ukaristia stia takatifu because no priest no eucharist no eucharist no priest kwa hivyo tujiunge tujiunge pamoja alafu tena tukubushwe kuhusu hudma Yesu Kristo aliyotuachia kwa kutawadha watu miguu kutuonyesha be a servant to your neighbor to your friend to your uh, to your brother and to your sister and that is the most important thing unaweza pata katika maisha hii ya Ukristo Asante sana padre huduma njema katika upadre wako Asante hata nyinyi tunawatakia kila laheri katika Captain TV muendelee na kazi njema hii hata wewe nakutakia happy feast Asante Padre Peter Kenjonge mmoja wa wale ambao wanakuja kutusaidia pale katika utumishi na huduma pale kwenye studio na pengine tunaendelea na kusikiliza uh, maoni ya wengine kuna padre mwingine hapa uh, tuambie majina yako padre heri njema ya siku ya upadre Asante baba Majina yako padre working in the diocese of Marsabit in Ilaredo parish Yes Um from Nairobi to my parish it's 1000 kilometers from Marsabit town to my parish it's about 500 kilometers on rough road yes how is faith how do you practice your priesthood in the diocese of Marsabit in your parish 
Um, we are doing primary evangelization. It's the first time some people are hearing of the gospel and the, 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 the faith that we celebrate as Catholics. So it's always very interesting that when you're a priest, first of all, you must, you yourself, understand your priesthood because people don't know much about the priesthood there. You must understand your priesthood first. And uh, when you celebrate with your people, you know, you are looking for them. You are, you've always to be patient to look for your Christians, to ring the bells, for them to gather around. And when they gather around, yes, you have to teach them the sign of the cross and uh, introduce to them what mass means. So every step you go by teaching and uh, letting them understand what you are celebrating. But we are doing well at the moment, like this uh, Easter, we are baptizing uh, around uh, 100 cat catechumens. So the faith is picking up, and we thank God for this. Probably some, someone who may not understand the challenges and the, and the success stories down there in Marsabit for a priest to work there. Some of them, the challenges and the success stories that you have encountered in your life in Marsabit. Uh, Marsabit, uh, I reported there first time in 2017. We got stuck for four days in the desert, in the wilderness. There is no network, nobody to conduct. And the last night, actually, we were ambushed by gunmen. And uh, we thank God that nobody was killed, nobody, a little injuries, but nobody was killed. But then we had to still go on to reach our mission station. So there is a lot of insecurity as you go towards Mars a bit, and especially to our destination. We, we're moving like uh, 500 kilometers in a kind of uh, a very volatile area. So there is a lot of uh, insecurity, but we put our faith in God. Then uh, the second thing is like last year, we have had a lot of crowd. We had the, first, the last rains last year in April. So people lost their animals, their nomads. So they lost their animals, cattle, uh, sheep, goats, and everything. And at the moment, they are very needy, as it were, hungry. And um, we have to attend to their needs first before again we start preaching to them. So we have to look around people of goodwill to bring some donation of food, at least to feed them. And as we feed them, then we can uh, go on to do uh, the evangelization. The other challenge is uh, it's a place cut off completely marginalized by the government. So institutions like schools are not running. And uh, what we are trying to do is uh, we began a nomadic uh, primary school that goes into the forest, into the villages, and then we train the locals as teachers who will train these kids for some period, and then they can uh, join the normal schooling at, at an, a later ted, a stage when they can pick up with education. Uh, we have also tried to bring other kids to various places, to families here in Nairobi, all over Kenya, and they are in various schools, so that as these ones get enlightened, then we can open up our area for evangelization and other activities. Yes. Now, as a priest, one or two priests who have inspired you to be a priest, to live your priesthood, probably living or dead, how would you describe who is that? Um, there are quite many priests that have inspired me along my way. And one of them uh, is my parish priest at, at home, Father Coronelius Bahati. He was our uh, parish priest when I was joining the seminary, the secondary school, the seminary, and even in my ordination. He took very good care of us. We saw a picture of a father. We saw loving. We saw caring. And uh, I always try to want to be like uh, uh, Father Cornelius Bahati. He's a very wonderful man who really inspired us. Uh, the Jesuit Father Dotungo, who was our teacher during philosophy, uh, he was a very humble, pious man and uh, very intelligent. Um, it, these are people that, uh, and many others who inspire me on my journey as a priest, yes. So wish you the best, happy feast, and uh, how would you, uh, what do you tell your viewers, um, uh, of your viewers, the, uh, um, the Christian in Marsabi? Uh, the Christians in Marsabi, I want to wish them the very best, because uh, when you go to a station as a priest, you are not just a priest, eh? you are a doctor, you are a food provider, you are a water provider, you have to answer questions of the government. And uh, as we are here, 
you know, looking at many priests like this, so many religious, it also fills me with joy because there you are only the only one with your confreres. But this is a good a celebration, and I want to wish my Christians in uh, Ilaret a happy feast, and especially that Christ is giving us hope as we go through our difficulties and our challenges, we have hope that God is with us and will make all things again normal. Tuma salamu nyumbani kwa wazazi. Wazazi wangu na watumia salamu kuleka kameka. I want to wish them uh, they are late. Mze Andrew Msala who passed away and uh, Mama Leonita Ngaila, she passed away. But to my in-law, Felista Mushele, my brother John and my brother Vincent, I want to wish them all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Padre. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Padre Benedict Mukhavali tumesoma na darasa moja kule chuo cha uh, Consolata ni katika huduma hiyo ambapo tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa ushuhuda wanaotoa mapadre katika furaha za upadre changamoto za kuwa padre katika mambo tofauti na mahali tofauti kwa hivyo tunaendelea kuwapongeza na hasa wewe mtazamaji yule padre ambaye anakuhudumia um, um, umshukuru na umuombe kuna mwingine hapa padre uh, heri ya pa, heri ya pasaka heri ya, ya sikukuu ya upadre heri ya pasaka pia padre nashukuru sana Naitwa Padre Samuel Ole kwa shirika la watakatifu wa Kamiliani nafanya kazi kule parokia ya Mary Help of Christians Ndundu Parish iko Gatundu South ndio Naam kwa yule ambaye hajui pengine tofauti kati ya Padre wa shirika Padre wa Jimbo Padre ni Padre ama kuna tofauti mm. e, katika kanisa katoliki kuna kitu tunaita charism ama kazi fulani e, watawa wanafanya kuna watu wa jimbo ambao wanakuwa tunasema wako localized wanafanya kazi pale pale tu lakini watawa ama watu ambao wako katika kiungano ya mashirika mbalimbali mbali, wako open kufanya kazi pande zote za dunia na wanakuwa na kazi fulani specific ile wanafanya kama sisi wahudumu wa wagonjwa wa shirika la mtakatifu kamilo kazi yetu kubwa sana ni kuhudumia wagonjwa wakiwa kwa hospitali ama katika mazingira ya parokia ama katika chaplaincy mali tunafanya kazi huduma kubwa sana ni kuelekeza kazi yetu pale kwa kudumia wagonjwa Naam. Siku le, le kama ya leo ni siku tunakumbuka kama tulivyosema ni e, ibada ya kutakasa mafuta ya krisma na mafuta yale mengine na baadaye jioni kuna karamu ya mwisho si, e, sakramenti ya upadri tunaamini kwamba Yesu alianzisha leo. Uliangaziwaje wewe kuwa padri mbona haukuwa pengine mwalimu ama ulipataje mito wako? Wito wangu niliupata nikiwa mdogo sana. Sana shukuru sana aliyekuwa padri wetu wakati ule anaitwa Father Patrick Lumumba. Ni padri alipenda mpira sana mimi nikawa napenda mpira so katuweka katika timu yake ya mpira na pale tunatoka kucheza mpira alafu tunaenda naye kwenye huduma kwenye jumuiya kuona wagonjwa ikawa nikapata huo mvuto nikawa natembea naye kile wakati hata baadaye akanipatia recommendation nikiwa class 8 nikaweza kujiunga na Maina Seminary na hapo Maina Seminary sasa ndio niweza kusoma tofauti kati ya mapadri wa tawa na mapadri wa jimbo nikapata wito wangu sababu nilikuwa nataka kuwa daktari kwa nani nitakuwa padri daktari na nihudumie wagonjwa hivyo ndio nikaweza kuwa mkamiliani ndio naam tuseme pengine katika huduma yako kama kazi zako umehudumia wapi tangu ulipo padirishwa mpaka sasa nilipata upadirisho mwaka wa 2016 kule Jimbo la Homa Bay mali nilikuwa na hudumu kwa parokia nikahudumu hapo kama padri mwaka mmoja kisha 2017 nikapata uhamisho kuja kufanya kazi katika Jimbo la Nairobi katika maeneo ya Ruiru St Peter Kuyota Parish ambapo nilihudumu miaka mitatu na nusu kisha baadaye wania sasa nikaweza kuhamishwa kwenda kufanya kazi kule Gatundu na ambapo nimeweza kufanya kazi hata kwa muda mwaka mmoja Naam. Kule Gatundu naelewa kwamba kule ni mashinani kidogo na pale pengine wale wazazi wetu wa Kongwe wanahitaji sakramenti ya kitubio lugha ikoje hiyo ya kuhudumia uh, Asante padri ukiwa padri missionary unakuwa open kwa learn language ama kujifunza lugha ya watu ambao unahudumia. Yenyewe pale ni kijiji mara nyingi lugha tunatumia ni ya kikuyu na kwa hiyo muda ya, ya mwaka mmoja nimeweza kupata lugha naweza kuhudumia kilugha ya kikuyu na wanafurahi sana kwamba mgeni amekuja akasoma lugha yetu na natuhudumia katika lugha yetu. Na hiyo ndi shangwe eh, kabisa hasa kwa kwa washirika ama watawa ambao wanaweza kwenda kufanya kazi mpaka pale kwa kujiji na kuweza shiriki vizuri na kuhudumia hata wakonga ambao pengine hawaelewi Kiswahili ama Kizungu. 
Naam. Kati ya mapadri wengi ambao pengine wamepita mikononi mwako ama licha ya padri aliyekuangazia, ni padri yupi ambaye amekugusa na pengine amekuwa kio ama kielelezo katika maisha yako? Eh padri ambaye alitukuza sana tukiwa maina seminari anaitwa Father Francis Leso hadi sasa ndiye vika general wa, wa Jimbo la Homa Bay. Alielekeza vizuri na kila wakati namkumbuka sana sababu alinipatia mwelekeo wa maisha ya kipadri. Naam. Pengine ungewaambiaje watazamaji ambao pengine leo na watafuatilia misa hii na jioni kuna kutarajia kwamba kuna ibada ya uh, kutawadhwa miguu na karamu ya mwisho. Ningependa kuambia wakristo wetu tuweze kushiriki kwenye ibada ya misa takatifu jioni ya leo kujiunga na mapadri wetu pale kanisani kuombea mapadri ya sahi siku ya leo ni siku ya mapadri tuombe mapadri wetu na tuwasaidie katika huduma anao wanawapeana pale kanisani na kushirikiana na wao siku hii ya leo. Naam tofauti ya mwaka mwaka huu na miaka mwaka jana na mwaka juzi tulikuwa katika hali ambayo haikuwa sawa imani pengine imeenda chini ama imeongezeka Niseme wa Kristo wetu wamekuwa na kiu sana kwa sababu ile muda wa miaka miwili wamekaa pale bila kupata hizi huduma za muhimu sana especially hizi za pasaka kidogo watu wametatiza kiimani na imekuwa jukumu kubwa sana kwetu sisi kama wa Kristo kuweza kuwakumbusha kwa sababu miaka miwili kama muda hajashiriki sherehe kama haya inakuwa ni tatizo kweli kweli tumekuwa na kazi ya kuwakumbusha kama kwa huko maandalizi haya imetuchukua muda kabisa kuweza kuandalia kwa kuandaa wa Kristo kimoyo na pia kiakili naam asante sana padre tunakutakia kila raheri kwenye kazi zako asante sana na Mungu abariki amina ni mwingine kati ya mapadri wengi ambao wako katika uh, misa hii kama tunavyo tunavyojiandaa wakati wowote ibada takatifu ya misa itaanza tuko katika uh, kanisa kuu kwenye jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi kiongozi wa ibada atakuwa mheshimiwa askofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo ambaye itakuwa ni pasaka yake ya kwanza kwenye jimbo kuu kumbuka kwamba amepokelewa hapo mwaka jana tarehe tisa ya mwezi wa kumi na moja kwa hivyo itakuwa ni sherehe yake ya kwanza basi hawa ndi ba dia ya wale ambao ni mapadre wanaofanya kazi kwenye jimbo hili kuu nakumbuka kwamba jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi ndilo lililo kubwa kabisa kwa idadi ya waumini na idadi ya parokia ya baada ya parokia juzi kabisa kutangazwa na askofu mwenyewe askofu Philip Anyolo askofu mkuu ni parokia moja na tano na zinahudumiwa na wa mapadre wa jimbo kuu na mapadre wa mashirika tofauti hawa ndio sasa siku ya leo ambao wanakuja kurudia ahadi zao za sakramenti ya upadre maana yake ni nini kwamba kila mmoja alipopadrishwa aliapa kum, 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 kumti kumtia askofu na waandamizi wake na hiyo basi itakuwa sherehe ya, ya kurudia hadi hizo wote wamesimama mbele ya askofu mkuu na tunawatakia kila raheri pengine pale nyumbani wale mapadre ambao wanakuhudumia pale kwenye parokia tunakuomba uendelee kuwasaidia kwa hali na mali na hasa kwa washiriki wao huyu ni mmoja ambaye pengine atuambia majina yake na anashiriki wa brata ndata westlands huyu ni emano kamrata ni Francisco Mkapuchini ametoka katika eh, Jimbo Katoliki la Malindi na anahudumu katika parokia eh, ya Amana ka katika nyumba ya Kifrancisco eh, ya hapa Nairobi. Basi mapadre ndio hao pengine padre Jambo heri ya Pasaka. Asante sana. Ah, wajikaze na imani ongezeke. Wajikaze imani ongezeke. Ujumbe wa padre anatakia kila mmoja eh, Pasaka njema. Hao ndio mapadre. Pengine mpadre jina lako naitwa Fala Dominic Mwangi nafanya kazi St Peter's Clevers Parish. Padre kutoka St Peter's Clever uh, heri yake padre na hao ndi mapadre. Padre mwingine hapa jina lako padre. Naitwa Fala Nyoike na hudumu Kairi Parish. Gatondo. Ni hawa mapadre ambao wanahudumu katika jimbo hili kuu tunatakia laheri na baraka nyingi katika huduma zao. Mwenyezi Mungu abariki. Padre uh, Mungu akubariki jina lako padre na hudumu mimi naitwa Father Steven Nganga na hudumu St Christopher Royal. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa, kwa ajili ya siku ya leo. Mba... Mungu akubariki. Tunakumbuka kwamba mwaka jana hatukuwa na hatukuwa karibu ba karibu padre utuambie majina. Ah tunaendelea ku, kuingia kwenye misa na tunamuomba Mwenyezi Mungu aendelee kubariki mapadre hawa jina lako. Jina langu Father Vincent Kameri. Eh uh-huh. padre wa, 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 wa muda mrefu. Padre wa miaka 43. Nini hicho kinakupatia nguvu za kuendelea kufanya kazi? Ni upendo wangu kwa Mungu na vile alinipenda na wito alionijalia na vile eh, amen amen ya hidi mengi Eh. Mungu akubariki padre katika huduma yako. Bless you. No? Amen. Amen. Ni hawa mapadre ambao wanaingia kwa maandamano hapa padre mwingine hapa sabahi Mike Kiwari kutoka Tingani. Kutoka Tingani padre Mungu akubariki. Robin. Amina. Robin ndio hawa mapadre ambao wanaingia kwa maandamano waendelee katika eh, ibada hii kuu ambayo kwa miaka miwili hatukuwa nayo padre jina lako Padre Pepe Contreras from Mexico. 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 Yes. Mexico. 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 Mexico.
Je, lakini kama chapati. <laughs> heri heri ya upadre. Heri. Asante padre, 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 padre missionary kutoka nchi ya Mexico wanahudumu wote. Padre jina yako. Father James Karanja. Paroki ya Saint Dominic Mweki. Yes, Dominic Mweki. Hao ndio mapadre ambao wanahudumia watu wa Mungu kwenye jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi na tunawatakia kila raheri leo ikiwa siku ya kurudia hadi zao za up, eh, za upadre. Padre jina yako. Padre Daudi. Dindi huyo anahudumu pia naye katika jimbo kuu. Padre jina lako tafadhali. Steven Makaguto FM Cup. FM Cup chini mwenzetu hapo amefuga ndevu kiasi cha ukapuchini tunawatakia laheri. Padre jina lako unahudumu wapi? Uh, Father Victor Mweki Parish. Mweki Parish wawili hao kutoka Mweki parokia Mweki hapa jimbo kuu tunawatakia kila laheri baraka za Mungu. Padre jina lako unahudumu wapi? Alphonse na hudumu na hudumu makao makuu ya shirika na pia mwanafunzi Kathy Stratemo. Mungu akubariki padre katika huduma zako. Hao ni mapadre ambao wanajumuika pamoja na askofu mkuu na uh, waumini kwenye ibada hii ya Alhamisi kuu. Padre jina yako na huduma wapi? Can you say in English? Uh, your name and where do you serve? Uh, Father Emile Teme, I'm Quebec missionary. I'm serving here in Nairobi. Quebec missionary uh, from which country, padre? I am from Cameroon. From Cameroon, Cameroon kule kwa Roger Mira, wale ambao wanapenda mpira wa Kadanda. Tunakumbuka Roger Mira. Uh, ni hao mapadre. Padre jina yako na huduma wapi? Father Bosco katika Afrika Afrika katika Afrika yeah. Padre Mungu akubariki SCI Afrika SCI Afrika ni wale katika huduma nyingi za mapadre sio tu katika adhimisho la misa lakini wanahudumia watu wa Mungu katika nyanja mbalimbali za za huduma na ni wengi tunatakia kila heri Padre jina yako na hudumu wapi na hudumu wa Radio Fatima Kiriko Father James Nguru Mukoi Yes. Katika yako ni hawa mapadre ambao tunatakia kila raheri na pengine huyu tunamfahamu kidogo zaidi padre jina lako tunashaka kuona mahali naitwa father martin kemama wewe na hudumu parokia ya gatito parokia gatito pa paroko katika parokia ya gatito kati ya zile 112 tunatakia kila raheri mapadre wetu ndio hao na tunawaombea uh, Mungu awabariki na kuwalinda nyuma yao ni viongozi wa kuwa wachungaji uh, wa askofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo na uh, pia uh, muadhama mm, uh, John Cardinal Njue na watumishi wa altare uh, watumishi wa ibada basi tunakukaribisha kwenye ibada hii takatifu alhamdulillah siku ambapo kwenye misa hii yatabarikiwa mafuta ya mpako wa wagonjwa na mafuta ya, ya wakati kumeni yatatakaswa yatakuwa uh, kuwekwa wakfu mafuta ya krisma ndiyo yatatumika katika mwaka wa kanisa mafuta kama tulivyoelezea kwenye eh, ripindi vyetu mbalimbali yatatumika kwenye mwaka wa kanisa jioni ya leo kila parokia kwenye muda wake itakuwa na misa ya karamu ya mwisho adhimisho la sakramenti ya ekaristi kukumbuka sakramenti ya upadre na a, amri mpya na wapeni penda neni na baadaye ikiwa leo ni siku ya karamu ya mwisho tunakumbuka kwamba eh, ekaristi zitabarikiwa kwa wingi kutokana na kwamba hapo kesho hakuna ibada ya misa kwamba Yesu atakuwa amesha ame, ame, ingia kwenye mateso na ibada ya msalaba kuabudu msalaba pale jioni kwa hivyo ni siku moja katika mwaka ambapo hakuna ibada ya misa si kwe Jumaa kuu tunakumbuka eh, mateso ya Bwana na kifo chake Jumamosi tuta, 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 tuta muomba Mwenyezi Mungu atuwezeshe kufufuka pamoja naye basi jiunge nasi kwa sala hii kuu ya kanisa kutoka eh, eh, kanisa mama kanisa kuu ya jimbo kuu katoliki la Nairobi hapa eh, Nairobi na watazamaji wetu tunamwasilia tunawasilisha kwa Mungu mahitaji yetu mahitaji ya familia zetu mahitaji na changamoto za familia za changamoto za nchi yetu kuombea viongozi na sisi wenyewe katika uh, sala zetu tuwakumbuke wale ambao wametuomba tuwakumbuke kwenye sala wanaomboleza walio gonjwa walio kongwe na mahitaji yetu sote junge nasi kwa ibada hii takatifu ya misa alhamisi kuu
saidi la Holy Family Maina Basilica kwa makaribisho mafupi kwa ibada hii ambapo tutatakasa na kuombea na kubariki mafuta pia mapadri watatoa nadhiri zao za upadri karibu Father Father kama moyo God is good and all the time your grace most reverend Philip Anyolo ya kibisho wa Nairobi your eminence John Kanonjue Archbishop Emeritus of Nairobi, Right Reverend John Baptist, the Benedictine uh, Abbot, Reverend uh, Priests and uh, Deacons, Religious Men and Women, our dear Christians, I take this opportunity to welcome all to this very important occasion in the church when we mark and uh, celebrate the chrism or holy thursday we'd like to thank god we have missed this occasion for two years but we thank god that we are back we thank god and so let us let us pray together and enjoy this day we thank god for counting us worthy and making us worthy to stand in his presence and serve him and so now I take this opportunity to humbly welcome His Grace to lead us in this, uh, this uh, celebration. Karibu sana, Your Grace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. and peace be with you. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, uh, we come before God. We are in His house, and in His presence, we want to ask him to consecrate the oils that sanctify our lives so that we may be closely related to him in a way that we serve him with gladness. Let us ask for forgiveness of our sins. I confess Almighty God.
Kuna mai mwazi hivi ya sukuma. Mie mfaya asu lezeti mera wabayi. All the angels and saints, and you my brothers and sisters, we pray for me the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
us pray. O God, who anointed your only begotten Son with the Holy Spirit and made him Christ and Lord, graciously grant that being made sharers in his consecration, we may bear witness to your redemption in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are about to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vigilance of our God to comfort all who mourn to grant to those who mourn in Zion to give them a galad instead of ashes the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. But you shall be called the priests of the Lord. Men shall speak of you as the ministers of our God. I will faithfully give them their recompense. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, and their offspring in the midst of the peoples. All who say them shall acknowledge them, that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. The word of the Lord. Zaburi ya kuitikizana kitikio Fadhili zako nitazimba milele e Bwana 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 Fadhili
the second reading. A reading from the book of Revelation of St. John. Grace to you and peace from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him. Everyone who pierced him, and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The word of the Lord. Amen. We arise for the acclamation. the Lord is upon me. He has sent me to preach good news to the poor. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim the year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to them, Today this scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. The Gospel of the Lord.
in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Your uh, Eminence John Kanonjue, uh, Father Abbott, my dear brothers in the priesthood, my dear brothers and sisters in the consecrated life, and my dear people of God, uh, we celebrate a wonderful day today a day that we prepare the tools of our salvation that is the chrism and the oils of the catechumen and the oils of the sick they will be used by the priests to build the nation of god and to evangelize so is a day that we as priests remember our calling and renew with our commitment to serve the Lord. So my dear brothers in the priesthood, happy feast day. Even as we can read it. You can clap better, uh, better for them. So, Akira uh, Mama, I know you can say Ngemi. And again. How many times do you say it? So finish. Again. 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 Thank you very much. Fathers, thank you very much for being here. It is wonderful to have you and it is a wonderful plan of God, God's own plan to have priests in the church, to have priests in the people of God. I remember a small story which I want to start with when a priest who was very good to his people but he was tough-headed so he used to employ workers on a wage basis, every morning they come, they do some bit of work and they go. And then one day, when it started raining, the roof of his house was leaking. So he employed the same ones who came. But he normally, as he did that, he was his hands on. He used to check whether they have done a good job. And if they had not done a good job, there was no salary, there was no payment, there was no wage. So that day, he was also cornered. So when, he, when they built the roof, they finished, they sealed it. He came in the evening and he looked around and he thought maybe he should check whether they have done it well. But they knew they had not done it 100% the way he likes it. So when he went up on a radar, they removed the radar. <laughs> so he checked and he said, we have done stupid work, silly work, hey, nothing you have done here. And they were just looking at him. And they told him, throw our money down here and we shall do something better. But he, did, he didn't carry money with him to the, to the roof. But something else happened. As he was on top like that, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, his bishop came in. He entered the gate and he was on the roof. And those children, those young people had run away with the, with the radar. So the bishop came and he was not able to come down. But finally, when they, came, they noticed that it was the bishop who came in and wanted to see his priest, they brought the radar back and he came down. And he went quickly to meet the bishop and he was very happy with him. And then the bishop asked him, how, how are you a Christians? And you know, he was an Englishman. And he had very good English. And he said, these ones, my Christians, they are dunderheads. They are catatonic, catatonic stupors. They are, 
they are good for nothing. He said very many words, and the bishop just looked at him and he looked at him. But finally, he looked at the bishop also in the eyes, and he said, "But I love them." <laughs> and the bishop told him, "My brother, please, you have not sinned. Your sins have been forgiven because of you loving them." And from that time, he continued loving them, and they loved them. They loved him. And God loved them, and the word of God spread in a bigger way. It is what we are celebrating today. He says to these disciples, He wants to tell them, I love you. Much as whatever it's done to me, I still love you. And we celebrate with our priests today. We know they do a lot of things, but sometimes we count on, on the black spots on their white paper. Today we want to tell them we love you, we take care of you, and we encourage you to do the work of God. It is not easy, but we encourage you with our prayers, and we support you in all that we do. And we please, we should also be thankful that all that the people of God have done for us, there is no reason for us to do our work with a commitment. Yesterday we celebrated the feast of send or not send but Judas <laughs> yes yesterday they said the feast of Judas quietly and negatively so it is the feast that refers at the Wednesday that refers on the, on the memory of Judas be planning to betray Jesus Christ the plan was on already and today we celebrate the feast of priesthood planning to dislodge any plan against God and to do the good things. But however, what happened with Judas might be also, might be difficult to conceptualize. Yet, we, if we examine ourselves in our hearts as priests and all people of God, we will realize that we have something more in common with the Judas. Something more in common with the Judas than we might have thought and imagined on the contrary. Just as there is something for the sake in our tendencies, in each one of us, all people of God created by God, so too there is something of Judas in us. And just as none of the Pharisees would throw a stone at the woman caught in adultery, so too we cannot throw stones at Judas. We are all guilty of succumbing to the allures of many things in our lives which are sinful. We are guilty of succumbing to jealousy, the guilt of succumbing to bitterness of life, we are guilty of violence, we are guilty of some sort of sin that might not have even a name, but just like we are guilty of worldliness. The preacher called it today, ism, materialism, what isms are. We can be very guilty of that. However, our divine Savior, who is Jesus Christ, requires that those of us who want to, to associate more closely to him in his ministry should make progress in the life of virtue, in the life of holiness. And for that reason, we celebrate this wonderful day that we make some sort of progress on, in the life of holiness so that our apostolate can be called apostolate of prayer it can be called also a postulate of good example, modeling itself on Jesus Christ's life, life of holiness. I therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, want to wish that we commemorate this wonderful day with you. As we commemorate it, the great day when the Lord Jesus Christ instituted the Holy Eucharist and priesthood, I recall, my dear brothers and sisters, 
a writing that is, is found in some sacristies where the priest vests and it goes like this O priest of Jesus celebrate this holy mass as if it were your first mass and celebrate this mass as if it were your only mass and celebrate this mass as if it were your last mass I am delighted that this year after the COVID restrictions, you, my dear brothers in the priesthood and in the consecrated life, have joined me as you are ordinary in large numbers in this minor basilica to celebrate the Christian Mass. We want to celebrate today's liturgy with a profound understanding of the mystery of the Holy Eucharist and priesthood. We wish each other a very happy feast, our dear brothers in the priesthood. With humility and gratitude, we assure you our prayers. Our priesthood makes possible Christ's real and abiding presence amidst us in the Holy Eucharist. May the Lord bless our priesthood. May we exercise our priestly ministry in humility and charity, recognizing that the Lord called us solely out of his gracious love and not because of our merit. As the first reading and the gospel of today reminds us, the Lord has anointed you and sent you to preach the good news to the humble, to the, to the blind, and to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to release those who are bound, and to comfort all who mourn. In this great ma ma mercy, my dear brothers, Lord has named us priests in his vineyard, in his ministry. Let us continue to serve God's people with greater generosity and a spirit of sacrifice. Let us simply love them. Let us simply love them. And God will love us and they will love us and we shall grow as a church. The liturgy of the Holy Thursday also reminds us that our priesthood is fraught with many problems and many risks and many dangers. The tragic figure of Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve apostles who betrayed the master for thirty pieces of silver, is a constant warning to us priests that things can go terribly wrong or terribly wrong in our lives as well. Jesus knew this and knew it very well. Hence he warned them, the apostles, and he wants us as well on that fateful day that we should stay awake and pray that we may not come into the time of trial. Because it's given that the spirit indeed is always willing, but the flesh is sometimes weak. This is what each of us ought to do. And this is what I want to emphasize. That we must cultivate an interior life of watchfulness. We must cultivate an interior life of prayer. We must cultivate an interior life of virtue so that the fate of Judas may not be for us. In this framework and the context of the synod, synod and the synodality, I, call, I recall a message from Cardinal Mario, the prefect of the congregation of the clergy, to all the priests. In his message last year, he asked the old priests to guard against the risks of what he called 
formalism and what we call also intellectualism immobilism materialism and all isms the risk of isms and formalisms may reduce the synod to an empty slogan a slogan of intellectualism turning in it to a theoretical reflection on problems and immobility that nails us on the, on the security of the habits so that nothing changes in us. So, brothers, let us not fall into the errors but allow ourselves to be led by the Holy Spirit of God. On this Holy Thursday, when for the first time I celebrate with you the Christian Mass, as your father and your brother in the priesthood, I entrust each of you and your daily ministry to marry the mother of God, the mother of priests, the mother of Christ. During the recitation of the Rosary, the fifth mystery of light leads us to contemplate with Mary's eyes the gift of the Eucharist, to marvel at the love that Jesus showed to the end in the upper room and at his humble presence in every tabernacle. May the Blessed Virgin obtain for you, my dear brothers, the grace never to take the mystery put into your hands for granted. With endless gratitude to the Lord for the precious gift of his body and blood, may you persevere faithfully in your priestly ministry. I also urge all our lay people and consecrated men and women to pray for these our priests and in a special way for those priests who serve you with the word and the sacrament that may remain good and they may remain good and holy and continue serving in you in your parishes and in all other institutions that they operate. So dear brothers and sisters, the Christian in which a Christian mass in which we part you participate and we participate together manifests your unity with your bishop in the Catholic faith, in the sacraments and in charity. In this liturgy you shall witness the blessing of the holy oils. The oils for anointing the catechumen, the oils of anointing the sick, and the cleansing for the sacraments that confer the Holy Spirit, baptism, confirmation, and orders, ordination. These three oils express three essential dimensions of the Christian life. First, there is the oil of Christ, catechumens, and this oil indicates a close way of being touched by Christ and his spirit, an inner touch by which the Lord draws people near to him. Second, then is the oil of the anointing of the sick. Like all the sacraments, the holy anointing of the sick was instituted by Jesus Christ during his earthly ministry. The anointing of the sick conveys several graces and imparts gifts of strengthening in the Holy Spirit and against anxiety, against discouragement and temptation, and it conveys peace and fortitude. These graces flow from the atoning death of Jesus Christ for this was the fulfill this was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet namely he took our infirmities and bore our diseases finally the third one which is the sacrament of the christian a mixture of oil or olive oil and aromatic vegetable oils in the church, 
this oil serves primarily for the anointing of the con and of confirmation and ordination. Today's liturgy links this oil with the prophecy of Isaiah, which says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me. Isaiah 61, verse 1. Today's gospel tells us that this prophecy was fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. In this election year, my dear brothers and sisters, you who have been anointed with the Christian oil in confirmation and even in baptism, and the priests anointed again in ordination, should become icons of peace promoters. You should be bearers of reconciliation and you should be bearers of justice and charity to the suffering. You are called to be conveyors of the light of Christ to courageously witness to our common fraternity irrespective of our provenience and ethnicity. As people of this great nation and as people of this great archdiocese, we must avoid all hate speech and lies and exploitation instead. Reflectively, we must choose to follow those ones who will guide us to God. Those who will will to be those who will be willing and able to work for the common good of all as election leaders of the people. We have reason to cry out at this time to God, as we say. Lord, forgive our many failures in being the soul and the light in this world. And truly, you have anointed us with your love and you have poured out your Holy Spirit upon us and grant us and grant that the power of your Spirit may come or may become newly effective in us so that we may bear joyful witness to your message in this time of elections in our country. My dear God's family, as you are shepherd, when I shall be placing this chrism, this oil of the catechism, catechumen, and also the, uh, the oil of the sick, in this chrism mass, kindly, please kindly, allow your hearts to turn to our gracious Lord who bestows his infinite love and mercy through these sacraments. Please pray for me. Pray for your priests who are the ministers of these sacraments in your parishes. Pray for men and women religious. Pray for the families. Pray for our leaders in the civil leadership and pray for every Kenyan without discrimination because our first mission and our first calling as Christians is to pray that God may prevail and is to work that God may prevail and thus I entrust our dear priests to the Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother, our protectress, and our model of life. And I repeat the prayer that is down there for you and for everybody of goodwill. O Mother of Christ, you were with him at the beginning of his life and mission. 
You sought the master among the crowd. You stood beside him when he was lifted up from the earth, consumed as the one eternal sacrifice. And you had John, your son, near at hand. Accept from the beginning those who have been called to protect called protect their growth in their life ministry and accompany your son who together with this priest keeps on working keeps on evangelizing O oh mary mother of god pray for us amen and as i conclude i know we have come out of very difficult moments we have lost some of our members through the COVID, the fate of the COVID-19. We are not yet out of the woods. But for those ones we have lost, I want to request that we put them into the safe hands of God in His presence as we observe one minute and ask God to receive them. Eternal raise grant unto them, O Lord, May they rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A brief moment of silence as we reflect on the Word of God that has been broken to us and for us. At this moment, we shall have the renewal of the priestly promises. And I kindly request all the priests kindly to arise. All the priests kindly to arise so that we have the moment for the renewal of the priestly promises. Mother of 
of the day is that day when Jesus Christ, our Lord, conferred his priesthood on the apostles and on us. Are you resolved to renew in the presence of your bishop and God's holy people the promises you once made? I am. Are you resolved to be more united with the Lord Jesus Christ and more closely conformed to him, denying yourselves and confirming those promises about sacred duties towards Christ's church, which, prompted by love of him, you willingly and joyfully pledged on the day of your priestly ordination? I am. Are you resolved to be faithful stewards of the mysteries of God in the Holy Eucharist and the other liturgical rites and to discharge faithfully the sacred office of teaching following Christ the head and shepherd not seeking any gain but moved only by zeal for souls I now request all the Christians also to arise all the Christians also now to arise at this point as for you, dearest sons and daughters, pray for your priests, that the Lord may pour out his gifts abundantly upon them and keep them faithful as ministers of Christ the High Priest, so that they may lead you to him who is the source of salvation. Let us answer is on the screens. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. And pray also for me and also his enemies that we, I and he, him, and we may be faithful to the apostolic office entrusted to me and him in our lowliness and that in your midst we may be made day by day a living and more perfect image of Christ, the priest, the good shepherd, the teacher, and the servant of all. May the Lord keep us all in his charity and lead us of lead all of us shepherds and flock to eternal life let us say amen
Tu as ta bihu.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty Father. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the anointing of your, the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design were pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human re redemption, to set before your people and your children in this Pascal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, and to nourish them with the word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. And as they give up their lives for you, and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ and by the power and the working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and you make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name and therefore o lord we humbly employ you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration that it may become for us 
the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victory by whose death you will reconcile to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed and Joseph and the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Philip, our Archbishop, John Cardinal Jewe, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Before the doxology, 
we shall have the blessing of the earl of the seek. wakati sasa wa kubariki mafuta ya mpako wa wagonjwa Lord God loving father You bring healing to the sick through in the son Jesus Christ. Hear us as we pray to you in faith and send the Holy Spirit man's helper and friend upon these oils which nature has provided to serve the needs of men. May your blessing come upon all who are anointed with this oil that they may be freed from pain and illness and made well again in body mind and soul father may this oil be blessed for our use in the name of our lord jesus christ who lives and reigns with you forever and ever through him and with him and in him O god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen. at the savior's command and formed by the divine teaching we dare to say our father forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. And may the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we are waiting the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, we say to you, Apostles, Peace I leave you my peace I give you Look unto our sins on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accord with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the mosaics of the seeds of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Katika undani wa nyoyo zetu tumshukuru Kristo ambaye tumempokea katika Ekaristi takatifu. wakati huu tunaomba wanakoya watuongoze katika wimbo wa shukurani Naomba sote tuweze kusimama kwa sala baada ya komunio. Let us pray. We beseech you Almighty God that those you renew by your sacraments may merit to become the pleasing fragrance of Christ. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. So we shall be understanding for the blessing of the hours. This time the blessing of the hour of catechumen. This time after that the consecration of the Christian oil. Katwa kubariki mafuta ya katakumeni. Kisha mafuta ya Christian. Askofu ya lekea pale pa kubariki ya mafuta.
Lord God, protector of all who believe in you, bless this oil and give wisdom and strength to all who are anointed with it in preparation for their baptism. Bring them to a deeper understanding of the gospel. Help them to accept the ch challenge of Christian life and lead them to the joy of new birth in the family of your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let us pray that God, our Almighty Father, will bless this oil so that all who are anointed with it may be inwardly transformed and come to share in eternal salvation. God of our Maker, source of all growth in holiness, accept the joyful thanks and praise we offer in the name of your Church. In the beginning, at your command, the earth produced fruit-bearing trees. From the fruit of the olive tree, you have provided us with oil for holy chrism. The prophet David sang of the life and joy that the oil would bring us in the sacrament of your of your love. After the avenging flood, the dove returning to Noah with an olive branch announced your gift of peace. This was a sign of a greater gift to come. Now the waters of baptism wash away the sins of men and the anointing with olive oil you make us radiant with your joy. At your command Aaron was washed with water and your servant Moses his brother anointed him priest. These two foreshadowed greater things to come. After your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, asked John for baptism in the waters of Jordan, you sent the Holy Spirit upon him in the form of a dove. And by the witness of your own voice, you declared him to be your only well-beloved son. In this, you clearly fulfilled the prophecy of David, that Christ would be anointed with the oil of gladness beyond his fellow men. I request all the priests to extend their right hands so they place him without saying anything until the end of this prayer. And so, Father, we ask you to bless this oil you have created. Fill it with the power of your Holy Spirit through Christ your Son. It is from him that Christim takes its name, and with Christim you have anointed for yourself priests and kings, prophets and martyrs. Make this Christim a sign of life and salvation for those who are to be born again in the waters of baptism. Wash away the evil they have inherited from sinful Adam. And when they are anointed with this holy oil, make them temples of your glory, radiant with the goodness of life that has its source in you. Through this sign of chrism, grant them royal 
priestly and prophetic honor and clothe them with incorruption let this be indeed the chrism of salvation for those who will be born again of water and the Holy Spirit. May they come to share eternal life in the glory of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all be seated. kwa maelekezo tu kama ilivyoada mafuta haya hugawiwa dekania zetu kama hata kuna chaplain ambaye iko katika dina fulani wanastahili kuongea na fadhadini katika dina zetu 14 na kuna maelekezo na maagizo ambayo yametolewa na askofu mkuu kuhusu jinsi ya kutumia mafuta haya na yale ya, ya mwaka uliopita jinsi ambavyo tutakavyoyaondoa kwa hivyo din wa kila dekania ni ambaye ako na haya mafuta na yatagawa kutoka kwake Kwa ruksa yenu mnikubali ni watole matangazo mafupi tu kabla sijamwalika mwadhama kardinali kwa hotuba yake fupi na salamu za pasaka. Tunawashukuru wanakuwa ya wetu kutoka St Peter Clevers Parish pamoja na Holy Family Basilica kwa kutuongoza vema katika uimbaji na liturujia yetu ya leo. Asanteni Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kuwabariki mnapozidi kumwimbia. Tuna pia kwa njia ya kipekee kuambi kuhalifu ya kwamba wote ambao wamefanya wamegeza magari yao katika parking yetu parking silo na walipatiwa tickets utabidi sasa upatieni hiyo ticket ambayo ulipokea na kupewa nyingine kutoka kwa Akdauses of Nairobi staff ambao wako na beji watawaona pale nje ili muweze kutoka bila kulipa Tunawashukuru pia kwa njia ya kipekee the liturgical office kwa ajili ya maandalizi mema kwa shughuli na hafla za leo pamoja na mashemasi wetu kutoka Holy Ghost Fathers pamoja na waseminaristi wetu wale ambao ni lectors ambao wametusomea leo na wote ambao wamehusika katika jambo moja ama lingine bila kusahau wale ambao pia wamecoordinate shughuli zote za leo wakiongozwa na Father Bernard, Father Boniface na Father Peter Ken. Tunawafahamisha ya kwamba tarehe 30 kama tulivyojulizwa tarehe 30 mwezi huu itakuwa siku ya Jumamosi kutakuwa na kufunga katika kitengo cha, cha Jimbo sinodi yetu ambayo tumekuwa na mchakato kutangua mwaka jana na sasa tumefikia na kutoa yale maoni na kuweka vizuri takabidi rasmi kwa kiaskofu mkuu tarehe 30 hapa Holy Family Basilica na ibada hii ya misa itaanza saa ya asubuhi na wote tunaalikwa ili tuweze kusherekea e, sinodi yetu pale ambapo tumefika lakini sio mwisho wa sinodi tunaendelea na mchakato huu katika plenaries katika parokia na dekania tukizidi kuzungumza yale mambo na matokeo tuliyapata katika sinodi yetu Tunawashukuru pia kwa njia ya kipekee Akdauses of Nairobi Communication Team pamoja na Capuchin TV ambao wametoa matangazo haya mbashasha yani moja kwa moja. Mwisho kabisa sote tutaalikwa kwenye chakula cha mchana ambacho kimeandaliwa kwa hisani yake askofu wetu mkuu katika hall ya Holy Family Basilica. Na kwa hivi sasa kwa heshima na taarifa kuu ni mwalike mwalama kadinali ili aweze kutoa hotuba yake fupi na pia salamu za pasaka za mwaka huu. Karibu mwalama kadinali.
Your grace, Archbishop Philip, our dear priests, our dear men and uh, women religious, our dear readers and my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. To see for Jesus Christ, to see for Jesus Christ, yangu ni fupi kapisa. Na nimefurahi sana kuona vile tumetolea kuweza kuja kwa wakati na siku ya leo. Majia ya kipekee na shukuru mapadri wetu. Baba kwa njia ya kipekee kweli leo ni siku ambayo nakumbushwa na wakati meona yale ambayo yanatendeka na fikira yangu ya merudi kwa catechism of the catholic church ambapo tulikuwa tunasomeshwa na tukiwa tunaalizwa swali ni kwa nini Mungu alimuumba mtu and we were being told that God created man to know him to love him and to serve him while in this world and in the end to be happy with him in eternity our dear priests when we have come together in an occasion like this for the blessing of these oils and so on and many of which you will be using yourselves and so on i think is a day really of reminder indeed and the best reminder is to be reminded that we are being told in a song kanaga ni kiria ngaya gotuite wewe be proud of whom god has made you to be you are there as a, a consecrated person in the priesthood not by chance but by the design of god and we thank god that well you are able to come to a point of responding to that call and we are being told we karage i mean menaga nikirianga ya go tuete now we call the holiday in wake so a day like this is to be reminded you did not choose yourself it is god who chose you and it's so important to remain firm and faithful in that and to remain united with the one who has chosen you for me a day like this i take it to be a day of reality yes of entry in appreciation of that gift that God has given to me but at the same time to be re-energized and to be renewed and to be able to do it and so on and in a very special way when we have uh, um, uh, uh, these oils here have been uh, consecrated and so on and many of these they are going to be in your hands So as a way of being able to thank God for whom he has made you to be please remain firm in the duties that are attached to your duty when you go to anoint those that are sickly when you go to anoint those that uh, uh, the uh, those who are catechumens and so on and when even when, when you uh, go as you are baptized you are eh? and so on and in a very special way remembering that even yourself you have been anointed so a day like this for me i take it to be a day of renewal and indeed a day of thanksgiving whom god has made us to be our dear christians A moment like this 
when you see all these men here and the way they are dressed, remember they are who they are, not just for themselves, but is really for the service of God through making his presence being felt in among the people that they are going to serve. So, pray for your priests and ask the Lord to strengthen them so that that gift that was given to them may be truly utilized in the right way that you yourself may be elevated and you may be given more strength and that when you are doing that they are also kind of strength you know that normally I don't talk much I am a man of few words but just to say this is a very significant day you remember when we met here on a, 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 the day of Ash Wednesday. Do you remember? Do you remember? I think we met in the church where we were starting this period of, uh, we've been starting the period of rent. And we were really being invited and being told, yes, we are heading towards the celebration of Easter. But if it is going to be proper, is yeah, there there be a process of metamorphosis, of really change of ourselves and examining ourselves. And um, if there are things that are not right, let the ways of the Lord be straightened. Here we are then on this day, which is the year only uh, the last day and so on, and where there has been this anointing of this oil. And really keep in mind in a short while we are going to celebrate that which we have been preparing ourselves for. Mine therefore is to say thank you very much, you know, first of all to our Archbishop and so on, and uh, all the, uh, and the other and the Archbishop and all our priests for what has been able to be done in order to prepare this thing. Because when we are told, you know, straighten the ways of the Lord, that was another way of calling us. Yes, to make sure that well, we are being prepared to celebrate this solemnity that will be there on the Easter Sunday. You know, let it be not a formality, but let it be a real expression and a coming from the depth of our hearts. That will not be the mouth that are kind of saying Hallelujah, Abana, you Hallelujah, you in a toka kwa, in a toka kwa, Are we together? And this is really my appeal, and really asking our dear priest. When I repeat for me every time I see the consecration of this oil, they are not just going to remain in sacristy. Yes, they are there, that's where they are, but we know that there will be also the uh, 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 visitation of those that are sick and uh, so on. Please let us utilize them, you know, for the purpose for which they have been uh, consecrated and uh, put in our hands as the, uh, in the consecrated men and so on. May the Lord bless us all. May he strengthen us all, that all of us may be able to live authentically the identity that the Lord has given to us as a way of being able to love him, serve him, and, uh, and uh, to serve him in the best way possible. Thank you very much, and uh, keep on. Move ahead, forward ever. Backward? Never. Thank you very much. God bless. Kwa hili zonaki na ujimbe wake mahususi wakatu huu tunapo anza kipindi chapasaka. Tunakuwa hili salazetu na weuzidi kutuombea. Tumuombe sasa kwa kumalizia, tumuombe mwashamu baba askofu mkuu. Aweze kutumalizia kwa hili zonaki na ujimbe wake mahususi wakatu huu tunapo anza kipindi chapasaka.
na kabla ya baraka pia tuombe atuombe chakula chetu cha mchana wish you again a happy Easter and also to assure you of the accompanying prayers during this time that you are going to be very busy and engaged in ministering the pastoral mystery of our salvation. Stay and abide in Christ and he will abide in you. And the Lord be with you. May God, the Father of mercies, who has given you an example of love in the passion of his only begotten Son, grant that by serving God and your neighbor, you may lay hold of the wondrous gift of his blessing so that you may receive the reward of everlasting life for him through whose earthly death you believe that you escape eternal death Amen. and by following the example of his self-abasement may you possess a share in his resurrection and may the blessings of the almighty god the father the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Sifu Yesu Kristu milele amina 
imekuwa ni ibada takatifu ya misa ambayo inaitwa misa ya krisma maana yake ni katika misa hiyo ambapo mafuta matakatifu ya krisma yamebarikiwa yamebarikiwa na mheshimiwa askofu mkuu Philip Arnold Subira Anyolo askofu mchungaji mkuu kwenye jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi na basi baada ya ama katika misa hiyo pia wamerudia kiapo cha sakramenti yao ya upadre mapadre eh, wengi ambao wanahudumu wana katika eh, jimbo hili kuu na ujumbe wa baba askofu ni kwamba waumini tuwaombe mapadre na katika huduma zao ikiwezekana ama mara nyingi iwezekana hivyo tuwasaidie kwenye huduma ya, kwen, ya kueneza injili eh, habari njema ya Mwenyezi Mungu na miradi wanayofanya kwenye kwenye ma, maeneo yetu kwa mapadre amewakumbusha kuhusu kujitolea katika huduma zao kama Yesu mwenyewe alivyowaita alikuwa hapo pia mwadhama John Cardinal Njue na kama kawaida faraha yake ya kuwa pamoja na wachungaji mapadre katika uh, kanisa hili ambalo amekuwa mchungaji uh, tangu alipoingia takriban miaka kumi na mitatu amekuwa mchungaji mkuu kwenye jimbo hili anawafahamu wengi kati ya mapadre na ujumbe wake ni kuwatakia laheri wale wote ambao wamehudhuria ibada hii mapadre na, wa, na walei na uh, pia ujumbe wake uh, uh, baba askofu mkuu ni kuwatakia waumini wote pasaka njema kwa sababu pengine hataweza kukutana na wengi katika mazingira haya ya siku hizi tatu kuu anawatakia baraka na heri njema za pasaka na basi kutoka hapa ama kutoka baada ya misa hii mapadre wanaelekea kwenye maeneo yao ya huduma maeneo yao ya kazi kujiandaa kwa uh, ibada takatifu ya misa ya karamu ya bwana na tunaendelea pengine kusikiliza uh, ujumbe kutoka kwa mapadre tofauti ambao wanamarizia hapa padre uh, karibu tuambie your name and uh, how is this day as far as faith is concerned i'm father jacob boyugi a member of the passionist community this is a very great day for us priests uh, the day we remember christ instituting two great sacraments of the ordination and the sacrament of eucharist which is actually the day that we remember our nourishment from Jesus Christ. So it's very important for us as the clergy because it's more of like our feast and we remember when Christ really gave himself, gave his body, gave his blood for the humanity. So we are happy to be celebrate this life and to join with the Christians so that we continue the love of Christ. This is the day he offered his love for the humanity. One of, the, one of two priests who have touched your life since you are ordained or even before you are ordained. Well, one of the priests who, who has touched my life is Father Celestino Carlesi, is the late, an Italian priest. Uh, as a very young boy, uh, he was our parish priest in Homer Bay Diocese and was such a loving, a loving priest and he took care of me. I was like his son and I think he's the one who really inspired me to join priesthood and to be a passionist because he was a passionist priest. For someone who does not know about passionist, what does passionist stand for? Well, passionist actually is a congregation began in Italy. Our founder is called St. Paul of the Cross. And this week, like the Holy Week, is really our main celebra celebration because uh, passionist, we preach Christ crucified. And we look at the passion of Christ, we look at the passion of humanity. So when you look at the cross, we look at the love of God. The ultimate love of God is manifested on the cross. That's why for us we really emphasize that the love of God can only be manifested on the cross of Christ. That's what the passion is done. So as we preach Christ's suffering, we also preach humanity. The passion of Christ is the passion of humanity. And we tell humanity that there is hope on the cross. Yes. Uh, marehemu babangu na mamangu na sana sana ndugu zangu la kunyumbani kule jimbo la Homa Bay na watakia paska njema asante padre mungu akubariki shukrani asante ni baadhi ya wale ambao mapadre wamekuwa waki wakiadhimisha ibada ya misa hapa na kutoka hapa kama tulivyokuwa tunasema wanaelekea kule kule Um, uh, kwenye maeneo yao ya kazi ili kujiandaa kwa misa ya karamu ya mwisho karamu ya bwana hiyo jioni kulingana na kila mahali uh, muda wake na kutoka hapa basi pengine tuweze kusikia maoni mawili matatu ya wale ambao wamehudhuria misa hapa kuhusu siku hii uh, ndugu uh, tell us your name and uh, mama tell us your name and tell us something about about this day 
tuzikie maana maoni ma, 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 ya mmoja ba, baadhi ya wale waumini ambao wako hapa watuambie wa, 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 wa imani yao ikoje baba tumsifu Yesu Kristu majina yako umetoka parokia gani mimi naitwa Moses Hainza natoka parokia ya Mungu mtakatifu wa Yesu Dagoreti baba paroko kia wa Emmanuel Msuri ndio siku hii ni siku kwa kumbuka kwa maana ya mapadre ni padre gani ambaye amekugusa katika maisha yako pengine mapadre wamenuguza ni wengi aswa kama ningemkumbuka wale ni batiza nafikiri safari ilianzia hapo lakini pia padre CK katika mafundisho yake amekuwa mzuri mwema sana padre huyu sikuizi kwa radio Maria anaitwa padre nani padre mkumbuka ni sauti yake Yesu Kristo ndo direkta kule pia wamenuguza katika mafundisho yao hata hapa kwetu bar, hapa basilika tunaye father CK na father sorry father Kamomoe eh, Simon Peter katika mafundisho yake aswa na uzingatia zaidi mambo ya kifamilia na amekuwa mafundisho mazuri sana siku zote nikija hapa nasikia nimeridhika ndio mwaka huu tofauti na mwaka jana mwaka juzi hatuko na sherehe kama hina pasaka inakuwaje katika maisha ya muumini kama wewe kwa hakika tulikosa kitu kichama cha muhimu zaidi kwa sababu siku kama ya leo hii Unaona kama ndugu zetu wa mapadi wanachukua nafasi ya kurudia ile <coughs> ahadi zao. Na sisi kama Kristo ni siku ya ukumbusho, siku ambayo Kristo mwenyewe anakataa yote, anakosema ndio kwa sababu yeye ni nini wanangu, dada na ndugu zangu, niatia maisha yangu juu ya msalaba ili nipate nafasi katika ufalme wa ujao. Kwa hivyo kwangu tulikosa kitu cha muhimu sana. Na siku kama ya leo inakuwa siku ya furaha. Mimi kama leo sijaenda popote, nimekuwa hapa, nimeshinda hapa, nikingoja hii misa. Na tena jioni pia katika paruki yangu nayo misa ya jioni hiyo na lazima tashuni 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 tuma salamu mashi nani ha ningetawasalimia wa kristo kwa ujumla kwa sababu sitamaliza okay kama ni wazazi wazazi wangu hawapo tena lakini wazidi kuwaambia roho zao naye lakini wa kristo wote duniani mzima haswa katika parukia yangu ya mwa mtakatifu wa Yesu Dagoreti kiongozi na baba e, baba paroko Emmanuel Msuri na wasalimu wote nasema mbarikiwe Yeah. Na mni baadhi ya maoni ya waumini wa pamoja na mapadri ambao wamehudhuria misa hii ya Krismasi matakatifu kutoka hapa katika kanisa kuu la Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi imekuwa ni furaha yetu kukupelekea ama kupeperusha matangazo haya moja kwa moja na tunakutakia sisi pia kila laheri kwenye eh, maadhimisho ya ibada zetu zijazo Saat kumi na mbili jioni tunakuwa na tunajiunga na waumini kutoka parokia mtakatifu Kalori Lwanga eneo la Waithaka kwenye hili jimbo kuu la Nairobi na hiyo kesho tutavuka ngambo nyingine ya Mto Mbagathi kwenye parokia za uh, uh, Maria wa Fatima na Maria mtakatifu eneo la Onga Tarongai kwa ibada ya Ijumaa kuu ke, hiyo kesho na mkesha wa Pasaka Pasaka yenyewe tutakula pamoja na waumini na mapadre kwenye parokia mtakatifu Matia Mulumba eneo la fika makongeni popote pale utakapokuwa popote pale ulipo tunakutakia heri na baraka za pasaka inayoanza Mungu akubariki na kukulinda kwa niaba ya vijana wa mboa simama masaa marefu na kuketi ili uh, matangazo haya kufikie ni kushukuru wewe na familia yako Mungu akubariki na kukulinda endelea kutazama kitambulisho katoliki capuchin tv Kapuchin TV huduma katoliki ya uinjilishaji Na pia nawashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Kapuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Kapuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi payable number 510678 account name caps tv You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717 424 
866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. St. Christopher Girls High School in Machakos Town is open for students with 300 marks and above. We go beyond the ordinary to nurture versatile, resourceful pace setters who can beat all odds to fit into the dynamic world of unlimited possibilities. We are guided by the power of prayer, the success of perseverance, the pleasure of working, the value of time, the influence of example, the obligation of duty, the virtue of patience, the worth of character, the improvement of talent, and above all, the presence of God. Enroll your child into our community today and delight in her holistic transformation morally, academically, spiritually, and talent-wise. Interviews are ongoing for Form 1, 2, and 3. For more information, send an email to St. Christopher Girls MKS 2021 at gmail.com. You can also reach us directly on 0715-209-403 or 0737-093-991. Hurry up and secure your slot in a girls' boarding high school with a difference. St. Christopher High School, Machakos, we thrive in goodness and excellence. Je, ungetaka kumiliki shambalako Malindi Town? Usijali, tokushugulikia. Credit Co Properties Africa Limited tunakujulisha kuhusu ploti unazoweza kujenga vyumba vya kuishi ama vyumba vya likizo ndizo holiday homes. Hapa waweza kukuza nanasi, tikiti maji au watermelon maanake hizi hukuzwa vyema hapa. Pia waweza kufuga mbuzi. Fahamu kwamba ploti hizi ziko mita 300 pekee kutoka kwa Lami na dakika 25 tu kutoka Malindi International Airport. Jinyakulie robo ekari kwa shilingi miyamoja hamsini elfu au ekari moja kwa shilingi miyatatu hamsini elfu. Book kwa shilingi arobaini elfu uweze kuhifadhi na fasi yako tukupeleke malindi ukaone shamba lako. Tupigie simu kwa nambari sufuri saba moja moja sufuri nane mbili 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 sufuri. Au ututembele ofisi ni zetu mjini thika. Getwe plaza korofa ya pili karibu na gatito shell petro station. Credico Properties Africa Limited, delivering value to you. St. Mary's be our light, that we shall shine the world's true light. We believe in prayers, hard work and discipline, Lord be our strength, let's always be thine. Are you looking for a school where your daughter will be formed holistically? Look no more. St. Mary's School Runda is a center of excellence where future leaders are formed. We are located in a serene learning environment which is easily accessible. Here at St. Mary's Gauss Runda, we look forward to achieving the mission, vision, motto and core values of the institution. We try to maintain high discipline in the school because without it then our programs cannot move on. We sit down with the students and conduct a thorough goal setting process so that the learner understands who they are, where they are and what they need to do in the next four years. In this school we have qualified teachers from very good universities who are friendly, approachable and offer only the best of the best. The teacher-student ratio is quite good. We have deliberately infused uh, IT in the teaching learning process. We have a career compass 
as we all know, most students don't know what they want to do in the universities. But St. Mary's will help you determine what you want to do. During the teaching learning process, we expose learners to short videos which spur curiosity as well as interest. We have other activities in the school such as a environmental club and a wildlife. And in environment, we usually participate in activities in the school such as a tree planting, uh, where we engage students in various activities, especially in watering the planted trees within the school. Girls are expected to participate in, the, in all activities like games, prayers, co-curricular activities like drama, etc. We parent our girls and that is one of our very unique uh, values as an institution. We have family units where a member of staff is given um, a few students like nine. We teach them to be responsible to do things um, because they have to be done by them, not other people. As far as the dormitory is concerned, we ensure that uh, it is clean, we provide hot water for bathing, we provide very, very delicious meals so that the girls feel at home here in school. Tunafundishwa jinsi ya kumtii mungu kwa sabu kuna misa kila siku, maombi na pia tunawatawa ambao wanatufundisha kama wazazi wetu. The school chaplain does not only take us through mass, but only takes us through catechism, baptism and confession. We encourage you to come and see uh, this uh, well of knowledge called St. Mary's Girls School Runda. For more information, contact us on 0721-201-420 or 0104-201-420. Four two zero, or email us at Saint Mary's Girls Runda at gmail dot com, or you can visit our website on www dot Saint Mary's Girls Runda dot sc dot ke. Saint Mary's be our light that we shall shine the world through light. We believe in prayers, hard work, and discipline.